No one is searching for what I'm doing on the weekends or the weekdays. Maybe my family or my friends care. But the internet does not care about that, right? How to get 500 subscribers in 28 days? As a small YouTube channel with only about 700 subscribers, 10 videos uploaded, one video a week, and it got more than 60,000 views and more than 500 subscribers in the past 28 days. How to get the results? Keep watching, you don't want to miss the tip that I'm going to share with you in this video today. What I'm talking about in this video is how to grow faster by creating searchable content and optimizing your videos to be SEO friendly on YouTube when you're just getting started from scratch and how to come up with video ideas that get more views and subscribers. Little small details can make a difference and that's why I really want to mention this specific tip in this video. And I've been implementing this for a while now, testing this process. And if I pull on my real-time analytics on my channel, a start born in the last 48 hours, I got thousands of views. In the last 60 minutes, you can see this videos got views almost every minute. And hey, if this is your first time here, welcome. Eric here with Stubborn.com and on this channel, we do a lot of tips and strategies to help you find your best ideas for creating content, for building your influence online, as well as stretch videos uh, just like this one. So whether you want to grow your YouTube channel or your business online, this is for you. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I walk you through the fun steps to get more views and subscribers on YouTube in today's video. And thank you for being a part of the journey. Now in today's video, I'm so grateful because uh, I'm actually doing a very similar video that I did two months ago which is uh, all about how to get your first 100 subscribers on YouTube in 2020 and how to grow your first 100 subscribers fast. Now in today's video, basically that's what the video uh, is about. But I'm making it a little bit more relevant to 500 subscribers and I'm also going to be incorporating some tips that I've learned along the way because obviously since that video, I've grown more than 500 subscribers as a content creator and as a small YouTube channel as well as I've uh, also done some research and now I've studied and learned from a couple of different YouTube channels over 100,000 subscribers and of course tons of small YouTube channels and I've learned from their journey and I think about what do I wish I knew back when I was starting that could have helped me and other small YouTube channels grow faster so that's why in today's video I'm going to be sharing some different things and maybe some deeper discussion that I mentioned two months ago so let's just dive right into today's video. All right, so I'm going to kick off this video with having a niche. Two months ago, I talked about the importance of having a niche. That is crucial stuff. I know that people always talk about the importance of having a niche, and that's really important. And then let me tell you why it's important. Uh, because when your followers, your subscribers, your potential subscribers, uh, are going onto your channel, they need to know what is this channel all about. Why should I subscribe, right? As we know, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world right now. In fact, 65% of people use YouTube to help them solve a problem. So who do you serve and what problem do you solve? If you do it the right way, with the right strategies, it can bring you lots of traffic. Listen, if people are going on your page and you are posting random stuff, they are going to be confused as to what to expect from you. However, if you are thinking of starting the channel in 2020, is that instead of thinking about the niche that you want to belong in, really think about who you are trying to target with your channel. And when I reverse engineer many successful YouTube channels, I mean those who grew from zero to hundreds of thousands of subscribers in one year, which is insane, you know? But if I really reverse engineer their process, I realized that in the beginning when they started, they didn't have a niche either. So it's kind of crappy to put that expectation on yourself. Um, that from the very beginning, you need to pick a niche and it's going to be really hard for you to do that because you don't really know what you have to offer yet. Uh, you don't know what people want from you and you don't even know what you want yourself. That's why when you are instead think about your target audience, it's going to actually make the content creation process a lot easier. And eventually your 
uh, niche will find you. But I do want to let you know that if you are just starting out here on YouTube, don't put the pressure on yourself to really think about that niche yet. Instead, think about the person or the people that you really want to target with your channel. Think about their interests. Think about the things that they are looking for online and then do your videos that way. And then eventually you are going to be able to see which videos are doing better than others. And then you are going to be able to find your niche that way. Now moving on to the next tip for those of you who are interested in getting more views on your YouTube channel in 2020 is to create searchable content. What I mean is that when you are starting out blogging or doing things that people aren't necessarily searching for isn't really going to perform well on your channel. For me, even to this day, I still slowly considering blogging after doing some uh, searchable content here on YouTube platform. And the reason why is because no one is searching for my day in life. As a small YouTube channel with only about hundreds of subscribers, actually no one is searching for what I'm doing on the weekends or the weekdays. Maybe my family or my friends care. But basically the internet does not care about that, right? That's why it's really important that you are really thinking about what are people actually searching for on the internet. What are people uh, searching on Google? What are they searching on YouTube? And then create your videos that way. If you're just starting out and you really want to know how to come up with content ideas, I have a playlist for you right here. Check it out in the info card and description section of this video. I believe this video will help you a lot. And the biggest mistake that will hold you back from getting more views on YouTube platform is that I see a lot of small YouTube channels doing is that they are not really thinking about what is uh, being searched on the internet and instead they create content that is very me focused instead of other people focused. What do I mean by this? Now on the topic of searchable content, my next tip for you and this uh, is going to be probably the most easily overlooked part for any new YouTuber or who's getting started is to care about SEO. What is SEO? SEO is search engine optimization. You actually want to make sure that your videos, if someone is searching for them, that it's going to show up and that's why SEO and optimizing your videos to be SEO friendly is going to be super important. Let me break down what I mean by this. Now, when we are thinking about SEO specifically, what we are talking about is the keywords that you are using in your titles, in your text, and in your description. But not only this, what we are saying in your videos also matters as well because YouTube automatically will be transcribing your videos and recognize what's inside your content. And furthermore, when you are adding captions to your videos, that also contributes to you ranking well in the algorithm uh, through search and through better SEO. And so if you are very intentional with the title, the text, the description, and the things that you are saying in your videos are well designed, it can help you become more searchable on a YouTube platform. Let's just use my first video as an example. Now for me in this video, my main keywords are obviously going to be Is it too late to start YouTube in 2020? YouTube Cup Up 2020 Is it too late to start YouTube channel? Is it too late to start a beauty channel on YouTube? All of that. And I'll make sure that my title will include those keywords. So the title of the video uh, is Is it too late to start YouTube in 2020? Not only this, I make sure that these keywords that I've chosen are also going to be in my description and in my actual text. But beyond this, I'm also making sure that I'm kind of saying these words and phrases in my video to ensure that when YouTube is automatically transcribing the video or when I'm manually transcribing the video myself, which by the way, here is a pro tip for you. I like to personally transcribe my videos myself because oftentimes YouTube makes a lot of mistakes uh, with their transcription. And I want to make sure that the algorithm can truly read everything that I say in my video so that I can rank higher. And that's why as a small YouTube channel with only about hundreds of subscribers, 
even my very first video can rank higher uh, in those top search results and compete with those hundreds of thousands to millions views videos on the first search page. So I just wanted to mention that actually I make sure uh, that I'm also sending these selected keywords into my video as well so that all in all everything in my video is truly optimized. And I think that it's so important that I mention this because I've seen a lot of YouTubers um, they tell new YouTubers to create searchable content which is basically what I mentioned earlier on in this video but they're not necessarily setting them up with the tools or the knowledge on how to create searchable content beyond just what the video is about and little small details like that can make a difference and that's why I really wanted to mention this specific tip in this video with that being said, I'll share with you more steps to how to do thumbnails and all of that. But beyond everything else, I also have a whole playlist uh, to help you shorten your learning curve on YouTube. Even more tips when it comes down to SEO and everything like that. How to go viral, all these different things about YouTube. This is just a starting point. Everything that I said here is done. It's a starting point. So if you are interested in starting a channel this year, make sure that you watch my videos that are in this place. It's going to help you a lot. More importantly, one of the biggest things that I want to tell new YouTubers is that uh, one thing that can help you go for the facet and show your learning curve is by looking at somebody else and by investing in wisdom. And maybe you are also familiar with this thing like me. I was the uh, whole year doing this wrong. I was the uh, three years without getting this information. So you gotta invest the time, invest yourself to shorten your learning curve and you get it married, hit the like button. Shorten your learning curve and you get where you want faster. What's the point to shorten your learning curve? Don't go alone. Get connected to a community of people, other purpose-driven entrepreneurs like you that are purpose-driven creators, purpose-driven people. Uh, that want to build their influence and income online. So find a great community to shorten your learning curve and you'll get to where you want faster. So whether you want to grow your YouTube channel or your business online, this is for you. So if you, uh, if you are new here and wondering how to shorten your learning curve in 2020, consider subscribing. I'll walk you through the following steps to get more views and subscribers on YouTube in the next video. And Thank you for being a part of the journey. If you are like me, you will assume the rest of the world revolves around you. Every now and then I'll have my head out of the sand to try to take stock of what's going on outside my world. And here is another great community for you if you can speak Mandarin Chinese like me. Little Boat 10 is one of my favorite YouTube channels um, that talks about how to grow faster on YouTube. And she just began her YouTube channel last year in 2019 and got over 250,000 subscriptions in only 10 months. If you want to know how she break through 100,000 subscriptions in only 10 weeks and how she earned more than $9,000 in YouTube revenue in the first month, check out the description section. There should be a link to the free YouTube training course for you to sign up when you're watching this video. With that being said, which YouTube tips, channel, and course do you recommend? Leave a comment below and let me know. I'm more than happy to check it out. I'm Eric. Thanks for being here again. Hope to see you in the next video. No one is searching for what I'm doing on the weekends or the weekdays. Maybe my family or my friends care. But the internet does not care about that, right? <laughs>